everybody, I'm Harry Arnett. This is Callaway Talk. We are here live. Well, if you're watching it, it's not live, it's recorded. But we're here at the PGA Show. You guys know this guy. This is Roger Cleveland. This is your first show, I understand. Absolutely. Am I right about that? First show. Oh, first show. Or like 35th show. You were Thank talking you. last night. We, we had dinner, Roger and I did. When you first came to the show, it was a totally different experience, wasn't totally. it? Totally, absolutely. So that kind of rides the really your career in golf, I guess, is on the other side of the table. We were in the Dis Disneyland Hotel. Yeah. And the big guys were in the ballroom, and we were out in this small, uh, in the in the individual rooms where, you know, where you would stay. And then we went down to Miami, and then back here. So. So uh, you've seen sure. you've really seen this industry change quite a bit, obviously. Um, you've been around a while, although Roger is 35 years old, so you know you look you're a lot younger than than uh, people probably think you are. Last year in 2013, we came out with the Mac Daddy wedges, which I think actually mirrors. You'll like this segue. Mirrors how the industry has changed because there's a very traditional player shape with with a very modern technology and modern touch, which is sort of how I would describe the PGA Show today. Other than the fact that we have a tank sitting about 20 feet to your right, so let's ignore that. Yep. But is that? fair to say that's kind of your philosophy as you've sort of grown through the game? Well, you try to package as much technology in the golf club as you can, and that's all, every year I've tried to do that. And Callaway is one of the reasons why I was so attracted to go to Callaway a long time ago was their emphasis and in, in, in spend uh, in, the, in the technology area. And so we, we've learned so much you know, since 96 when I joined Callaway, uh, and the focus and the attention to technology, that it's been tremendous. I mean, 1996, it's, we're it's moving into our 18th year at Callaway, which doesn't seem possible. Not me, I've only been right. here for a little less than that. But 18 years at Callaway, and um, obviously, I've traveled a little bit with you talking to golfers, and one of the reasons why I think it's been a great match for you and, the, and Callaway has been, you're a guy that I like watch in action because you talk to tour players, you worked with Harris English in the in the off season. You work with a variety of, uh, yeah. of our players. Andres Gonzalez was just here. You guys Pat were talking Perez. about just, but also yesterday we're in line, we're getting barbecue, and you're talking to just average golfers about their wedge play. I mean, you're a living embodiment of trying to to help golfers get better. Well, it is a, a totally different stroke, and people have to realize that. And I love the education series. That, we've put together for, uh, for yeah. our viewers and, and uh, listen to that because it's totally different than any other stroke you have, the iron stroke or the stroke you use with an iron or a driver, totally different. And it takes practice, it takes, it doesn't take a lot of strength, it takes technique and the right equipment. So every time I see Roger, if you guys see him, it's pretty much the same three subjects when we talk. <laughs> it's give me a good wine recommendation, that's me to Roger. We talk golf courses. Yep. We're, we're sort of like big fanatics on pure golf. That's right. And then Separate. you're always saying, let me see your stroke. Yep. And I'm always showing, and you're, you're, I think that's not the same three subjects, but you're really passionate about not just what is the instrument that the, the golfer's holding, the club, but how you're using it. That's right. And, and how does that factor into, especially in wedges, what you're doing with bounces and grinds, et cetera. That's right. If you, if you don't have the proper technique, you can't use the sole. And the pros, that's all they do is use that. And, and you got to set enough loft early enough to use it. And uh, once you get it, it's real easy. I mean, I was working with Pat Perez, who is an outstanding player, and he kind of lost his way in that area. And as soon as I reacquainted him to what to do, to set the loft so early in the swing, it was like a light bulb. It was just amazing. And he, and he almost top 10. This was at Sony, and I think he finished 12th. I mean, he, he played really well. He was off to a really good start, too. a great too, start. Which yeah. he actually attributed that to, uh, you know, he made a big equipment change, but he attributed it to the short game. Well, that's going to help him. I mean, when you have confidence, you, you, you can fire at those pins. When you don't have confidence in short game, you you go a little further away into the middle of the green, and now he's firing at him. So he's, it's gonna be an exciting year. I look for good things for Pat. So we can't walk around with you too much at the show because you can't get more than 10 feet without you running into either someone you know, yep. someone you knew, or someone who wants to know you. However, as you kind of look at the next 
you know, phase of what Roger Cleveland will be doing with Callaway, I mean, what, what kind of things are you excited about? Well, I, I love doing what we're doing with the education. I mean, that's got me going all over the world doing that. That's a fun that. word to say. So. And we have, exactly, <laughs> we have, you know, great instructors all over the world, and I love working with them, with their, with their students. Uh, but also I get involved with some of the design, which I am passionate about, and in our R&D department led by uh, Doc Hawk is, uh, is a fun place to be. So you go through now, you can put into your bag lots of Callaway clubs that have Rogers fingerprints all over them from Apex irons to Mac Daddy wedges and any, obviously anything in the short game, um, which really obviously is, has been your expertise for many, many years. And then do you, you like getting out on tour quite a bit too. I've been doing that. Nick Rafael, uh, head of our tour operations, wants me out there, and it's been really fun. I've been to first time I ever went to Sony, and that golf course, Wiley, is just fabulous, incredible. So you pure so, golf, we love that. Yeah, and it's a Seth Rader originally, yeah. and so it had one hole of Baritz, which is a, the big swale in the green. Um, but that was really fun for me to do, and so I really engaged uh, a number of our young players, which we have a tremendous staff now, and. Uh, it was really, it's a kick for me. Well, I saw you at Palm Springs last yep. week, walking across the green, and it was really fun to watch it, because as you walk across the green, all of our new young guys were coming over to say hello, because you've worked with all of them in the, right. in the fall. And I'm going to waste management after this, next week. And, uh, You'll be sitting and in the bleachers on the 16th hole, throwing I'm, beer around? Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. Good. This is Roger Cleveland for Callaway Talks. Roger, it's a pleasure to have you here. Harry, thank you. And uh, we will definitely have you on more, and we'll be back here again next year, and we'll talk about whatever year it was. Perfect. Thanks. Yeah, thanks, Roger.